If you clicked on this video, you probably heard the term RPE and you're just wondering what it's all about or maybe how to apply it. So RPE stands for Rate of Perceived Exertion. It's an important term in fitness that we use to tell how intense we're training. So let's break down why it's important and how we can apply this. One of the best ways to get this understanding across, I think, is just to show an example. So let's say I'm gonna be doing a dumbbell chest press. I pick up a weight I know I can get for maybe around 10 reps. I decide to rep this out for an RPE of eight. So simplifying this, we use a scale of one to 10. So in this situation, we could say that 10 reps are equivalent to a 10 out of 10. So an eight out of 10 on the RPE scale would be the same as eight reps. Now, of course, this doesn't always line up the same way. Let's say you were doing deadlifts for something you do five or six times. And I say, let's go with an RPE of 10. That would mean you would rep out to complete failure. If I told you to go to an eight, you would probably hit four or five reps. And you can apply this metric all the way up and down the scale. Now, one of the big reasons I like to use RPE is so when I design someone's workout routine, I can apply progressive overload by simply saying how hard I want them to work and giving them a specific rep range. Now we can apply this all across the board different ways, but that's the beauty of a measurement system like this. You can change the rate of perceived exertion any way you'd like. I hope you guys like that video. If you're interested, right on screen here, you can see my video on RIR, which is reps in reserve, explaining the difference between reps in reserve and RPE. So if you guys want new fitness content every week, I make weekly content. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you found it helpful, consider hitting the like button, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys in the next one.